Hello everybody, this is Jack Lupin here, and today I'm going to show you something I found at a thrift store for only one dollar. The Mark IV-B Predator from Warhammer 40,000. Now this, as you can see, is very old compared to the newer editions. I also have some paints here that I bought at a, my local hobby store. Now anyways, as soon as I open the box, you're going to see that this was pre-owned. But, well, most of the stuff is there except for old paints, which I'm sure did not work anymore. See, it's all dried up. But, I'll figure out, I'll try and figure out a way to make them work. Then, of course, the tank itself, which is all together, which is very nice. As you can see here, it's got a nice little space marine. Some of the tank treads are in pieces, but that's an easy fix. Sad day though, he kind of glued this part of the modifier. So I can't unglue that. I think something was supposed to go right there. As you can see. Of course, he's got a cool cross there. Then. Hopefully I have enough paint to paint these ginormous tank, but it comes with a whole bunch of modification parts, which is really nice. Put that part there, and another Space Marine dude somewhere. Notice that thing, he, uh, whoever had it before glued the cannons together. I think they're supposed to be glued anyway, but... Could have used it to not be a tank and just be a transport ship, which would be cool. I do have a few, um, I'm not sure why it's focusing, not focusing. Anyways, I do have a few, um, Space Marine figurines, so I thought, hey, why the heck not? If I already have this, I can use it to play Warhammer. I just need dice and other stuff, of course. It's really cool stickers, which aren't really stickers, they're more like tattoos, which are very odd. No idea how I'm gonna fix that or make that work, but I'll find out. Anyways, I'm going to paint this and finish assembling it using glue and stuff. I also have this little thing, it's like a, for the paints to dry off. I guess. I'm definitely painting this bad boy. <laughs> it is so cool. So, uh, yeah. Let's get to painting. Alright, here you go. Guys, this is the finished product. As you can see, I did the ultramarine paint. Because it's the only faction paint I actually have. Um, but I do have this, but it's um very dried up. I still got it from the paint set, so free paint. Anyways, um, as you can see, it looks really good. Did some shading on it too. But I think it's my favorite part is that it's most of the parts are customizable, so I can take this off. As you can see, I also did the interior a bit. Just painted it blue, except for um, a gun that's in there. Painted it black. And of course, the screen's black as well. But, uh, yeah. It looks pretty good. I did test it with this regular Space Marine from the newer series, but it doesn't fit inside the, the hub. But it is to scale. So, like, maybe if I took off the, um, base plate for them. see the you don't focus on that sorry you can see the space marine right there cool turret this is really cool um, on the other side is the 
bolt gun. The odd thing about this gun is that the dude put it in the wrong way. So what it's supposed to look like is that way. He used the wrong one less. Just... Can you take this gun off? Ooh, not sure if I should. Um, that would be nice if like the dude forgot to glue it in properly because there's you can see there's that come on stupid there's that crack right there but uh yeah this is the finished product it looks really nice I'm gonna do it photo right there I think it looks really nice. And this opens up. Didn't paint that bit, but it looks nice still. And of course, uh, hammer symbol. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you think about this thing. And um, what I should do next today, I am going to my local hobby shop and buying a whole bunch of other Warhammer Space Marine stuff, including the Codex, the rule book, and more miniatures for me to paint. Maybe a bit more paints, because this did a number on my paints. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments what I should do next, and I will see you later. This is Jack Lupin, signing off.